we're going to be testing an iOS app in this video. But not just any iOS app. Let's take a look at what we're testing. We are testing an app called Lift Tester Light. What it does is it measures the speed of an elevator. There was another similar app on the Apple App Store, but it's now removed. I haven't seen anyone else test this app, so that's why I'm going to test it right here. Let's see. I'm not an expert in this app, so let's figure it out. So I'll tell you what we do. Let's see. Actually, I need to make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, I see what to do now. All right. Step one: place the place the iOS device vertically. Let's see. Now we calibrate it and then take it up. All right. Sorry if this isn't the best video, but. I might not show you the results in real time, but I'm new to this app. Alright. I'll tell you what's going on. Calibration. Let's go to two. Zero point six four meters per second. Top speed about. About 0 0.6 meters per second, maybe top speed. 0 0.64, 0 0.63, 0 0.62. Let's go back down to one now. Actually, no, let's not wait. Calibrating. That might not be abnormal because sometimes hydraulic elevators go different speeds up than down. I don't know if I calibrated it perfectly, but I'm going to assume it's accurate because it was made by Claimanless UK. Let's try it again and see if we get different results. Alright. Calibrating. Calibrating. Let's go to two. 0 0.64 again. 0 0.63, 0 0.62, 0 0.61, 0 0.60. Now we're slowing down. Now we're stopped. Calibrating. Let's go down to one. 0 0.49 this time. Slight difference, but nothing too major. Now it's 0 0.50. 0 .50. This is what the interface looks like again. I turned it on size, so that's why it's going a little crazy. But anyway, that's it.